Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bob from Facebook asked me to make a 2024 turkey vest dump video. I uh, went a step further. Not only am I showing what's in the vest, I'm showing what is on my back. I'm showing what I'm shooting. I'm showing my decoys. I'm showing my cameras. Here we go. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Missouri Public Hunter. Bob asks, are you going to do a 2024 turkey vest dump? I'm going to be hunting for turkey for the first time. All right, Bob, this video is for you. Here is my 2024 turkey vest dump. I'm not only gonna show you what's in my vest, I'm gonna show you everything I take to the woods with me. So this will be my third year legitimately trying to turkey hunt. And in years past, I wore a vest. I bought the M2 bag from the hunting public and uh, I plan to wear it. So my vest will be this M2 bag and does have the cushion to sit on. So everything I'm gonna take, everything I'm gonna show you here is gonna fit in this or my decoy bag. This is a big one, binos. You gotta be able to see them before they see you and turkeys can see very well. So this gets you a little closer to their playing field. I will be shooting a Stevens Model 320 20 gauge pump. Winchester double X turkey shells, three inch five shot. Now, in the bag, I always take Vienna sausages. Worst case scenario, if I'm, if I'm ever out there in a situation and I just get a little bit hungry, a can of these will get me through. A bottle of water, a victory cigar and matches. This is for if I need to celebrate, a headlamp. This is a night buddy light. Uh, this company sent me a few of these a couple of years ago. They are awesome. Face paint, because everybody cool on TV has face paint. Camo gloves, camo neck gaiter thing. I usually just pull this up like this. Tiny wire cutters. If I need to get in somewhere and I need to snip some briars out or some limbs, that's what those are for. Primo's turkey call chalk that I have had since 1995. I have two Woodhaven mouth calls. I'm not that good at mouth calls, but I keep one in my mouth in case the turkey gets close and I can't move. I am not good at these, by the way, so don't judge. An owl hoot. This is a must have to locate them on the limb and can also work throughout the day. A crow call. This is awesome for getting them to fire off. You don't always want to call like a hen because it can mess some stuff up. But if you want to locate them, <coughs> works great. I have two Bean Creek game calls. I've had a lot of people reach out to me about sending me turkey calls to use, but none of them have ever sent them. There's been like three or four different people have been like, I'm gonna send you a box of turkey calls. Nobody has. Striker number one, striker number two, striker number three. I lose strikers. I will lose six strikers every season, guaranteed. So I take multiples. I will be filming my hunts with the Canon XA11. This is the camera that has night vision, has a good zoom on it, can run multiple microphones. I will also, not only with this shotgun mic, but I will be using the DJI uh, wireless mics. So I'll have one of these on me. Uh, so you can hear me, if I'm whispering, you can hear me. This camera will be zoomed in on the turkey. And while that's going on, I also have two GoPros. These are Hero 9 Blacks. One of them will be on a selfie stick. And anytime I'm talking, hey guys, we're gonna go down the hill. That's one GoPro on a selfie stick. The other one will be on this tiny little tripod. And this is the one that whenever I do make a setup, I'm gonna run out three or four feet in front of me. I'm gonna set that guy down like this in front of me looking back at me so you get that view. So I'm gonna be taking one, two, three different cameras and multiple microphones. I take three Canon batteries for this. I will take about six GoPro batteries. 
And I will also take two 28,000 milliamp battery packs. Now these can either recharge any of these cameras, but usually I just use a USB cable and run it to this GoPro. And this GoPro can run for like 12 hours and record on this battery pack. DJI Mini Pro 3. This is the drone. If I use it at the farm or whatever, I'll go up and get some cool shots. Anytime you see it up in the air, a Mini Pro 3 is what I'm using. The tripod is called a Slick AMT. I have two of these. One of them's holding the camera you're watching this through. The other one's right here in my hand. This one I camoed up with some ghillie suit and leaves and stuff. And it also has a King Joy head on it. I guess the last part is my decoys. I, I'm gonna have three decoys in the truck and depending on the situations, will determine what I put out. This Half Strut Jake by Avian is awesome. A laying hen, which has no legs. It's like she's saying, boy, come on, I'm over here. Last year I had a hunt with my buddy Jared and he taught me the art of reaping. Last year, I did kill a turkey on opening day. I used a fan from that turkey. And bought this avian full strut tom decoy and put the fan on this guy. It's got a handle back here where you can hold it. You can set it in front of you. You can take your shotgun like Jared did in that video, and you can lay your gun just like this right here. Kaboom. If you haven't seen that video, I would suggest you go watch it. It was really cool. That's everything I will take in the turkey woods with me. Uh, the decoys will go into a bag. I have a giant camo bag that I can carry on my back. I always put my camera on the tripod and I carry it on my shoulder gun on a sling. It's quite a bit of stuff when you're self filming and self hunting. You don't have a, you're calling, hunting and filming and doing it all yourself, but it's what you gotta do. Anyway, that's my 2024 plan. If you guys got some uh, better advice or anything that you're doing that's working, put it in the comments below. I appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're getting close. Thanks for watching. Call dang.